Shalom, Shalom, Yashua'ala. I'm going to start off first things first. Give it all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakadash. Which is the Pele of Hugh Bhutan, Craig Nazareth, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the Prophets and Elders, the Great Millstone. Shalom to you, sister, and brothers, living this true. Shalom to the brothers and sisters that's listening and studying, show themselves approved. Shalom. I'm going to talk about today something I'm starting to notice through the Spirit, Yashrala. Something I'm like, I'm, I'm checking out Esau's moves. Esau Edom, a.k.a. the white man, you know, who run Babylon the Great, which is America. And they run it like a, a like it's like a self-sabotage is what Esau's doing. Because once you, if you've been in this true for a couple years, and you know what's going on. You know, the Esau's ready a, a global reset to usher in his NWO. That's what he has on the books right now. He has to do that quickly. And with the moves I've been watching Esau do, you know, he's he's setting up a, a clever devised trap or what the Bible would call a snare. He's setting that up and how he's doing it. If you know, like I know, these Walmarts, Targets, these big facilities, they're going to need to turn them into camps to process people, to retrofit them with the MOTB. So to justify them shutting them down and closing them, they're doing self-sabotage. And what's the formula for self-sabotage? We're going to read an article on it. It says, Target loses $9 billion amid pride merchandising controversy. So they're pushing alphabet agenda, which the majority of the world doesn't want. But the elites love it because it's a part of a depopulation agenda. You know, most people that subscribe to alphabet agenda don't produce children if they're, you know, all the way locked in it. So it says, target stock value is taking a hit, leaving shareholders in the lurch as controversy continues to swirl over its pride merchandising plans, as first reported by Fox News Digital. Shares slipped another 1.6% on Thursday and have dropped more than 12.6% since the furor erupted a week ago on Wednesday, as tracked by Dow Jones Market Data Group. That amounts to $9.3 billion in market value. Woo, these, they done lost $9 billion, y'all, Charlotte. I don't know if they recover from that. And if they keep leaking, then what's going to happen is they're going to eventually go bankrupt. They're going to shut down all the targets in the nation. You know, Babylon the Great. You know, like I know, those are basically like Walmart. Those are big buildings, big facilities. So if they go bankrupt and shut them down, they're going to turn those facilities into camps. Here in the Wise Council, we're not ignorant to that fact. So I'm looking at Esau like Esau's doing self-sabotage right now. Because like it's not intelligent or smart to market alphabet agenda when you see there's such a big backlash against it. The majority of your population are not alphabet agenda. They're not. And they don't want that pushed to the forefront. So why would you do something that the public doesn't want to try to push an agenda on them. And like what the people are doing is they're just simply spending their money somewhere else. It's like a quiet protest, a boycott. So what they're doing is they're losing money. So what you see in that, you're losing money pushing that. Anybody that right mind wouldn't, wouldn't continue down that path. You give your customers, you know, your market. You have to give your market what it wants to buy. You got to fit that. That's what any good CEO would do. But see, they're not doing that. They're pushing something that they know gonna make them lose money so let's keep reading it says shares have fallen for six consecutive days over the period their longest losing streak since december 2022 and the worst six day stretch since the six days ending may 25th 2022 when shares fell 27.34 percent over the same time frame the s&p 500 is a little change increased by by Fox Business to Target 
on a stock sell-off were not immediately returned. For more than a decade, Target has offered an assortment of products aimed at celebrating Pride Month, a company spokesperson told Fox News Digital. Since introducing this year's collection, we've experienced threats impacting our team members' sense of safety and well-being while at work. Given these volatile circumstances, we are making adjustments to our plans, including removing items that have been at the center of the most significant confrontational behavior. Our focus now is on moving forward with our continued commitment to the alphabet agenda with community and standing with them as we celebrate Pride Month and throughout the year. So basically, people getting angry. That's basically like your Trump supporters, your hard wing Republicans. They've been getting violent, man. It's the same scenario they played when they was running, you know, the one nine situation. Certain people can't deal with certain things. So they, you know, are blaming on employees and fight with them. So I already know what demographic they're dealing with. Because y'all Sharala don't give a damn. They don't fight over stuff like that. They ain't aware to fight over nothing like that to even know what the, the battle ensues. So this is Esau fighting with Esau. And like, I went into a Target not too long ago, y'all Sharala, to get a dress for my daughter. Because it was close to, you know, her, her school where the graduation was at. And we needed a dress. Because I don't shop at Target. I really don't. So I went to the Target. And it was so spiritual that I would go on Target at this time so I can give a, a, a bird's eye view of what's happening. So we go on the Target. What they did, man, I see why people are angry not shopping there. The the main store in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and one of the Targets off of 71st, when you go in the store, the first thing you're going to see is the Alphabet Agenda clothing. And they are promoting big time to that community because the majority of the clothes in the section of the store were donated to them. Like, they have more clothes donated for them then they do women's clothing. I've never seen nothing like that before, ever. And then, like, as some of the clothing, you're looking at it, some say it's, like, tuck-friendly. Like, they make it wear, like, if a dude want to be like a chick, he can, you know, tuck his stuff and hide it real good in clothing. That, that part was very offensive to a lot of people. So that's the items they talk about pulling back. And i seen those items. Like, oh, my, like, man, that, Esau done went totally off his rocker with the wickedness and promoting this. So this is them trying to right a wrong and pushing the public's face and the kickback. Uh, that is going to be uh, what they say all the time. Esau would say, go woke, go broke. That's what's happening to them. And I'm looking like, why would you do that after you just seen Bud Light take a bigger loss in promoting alphabet agenda? That's not smart. But yet companies are still doing it. They're full head doing it. And really, that's because they're told to do it because Esau wants these institutions to collapse so in order he can open them up and turn them into the next phase. Like it's a controlled collapse what Esau's doing. We're not ignorant to what they got going on. So we're going to keep on reading because check it out. It's going to be something else I found out. It says, adding fuel to fire, the retailer's gay pride collection has been linked to a controversial designer of Praline's Eric Cornell who is an outspoken Satanist whose brand features occult imagery and messages like Satan respects pronouns on brand of Pearl. Fox News Digital Report reported separately. So Target has a known openly Satanist designing his clothing and that's ordered to, you know, rile people up. It's creating that civil war, basically, because that's just like very, very ignorant to promote that. In a nation that you said is supposed to be tailored after Christianity and Jesus, you're going to openly promote Satanism. That's to create controversy, um, strife, and really it's the Lord kicking all that up. Man, like I said, Esau about to fight Esau. And like, you got the Edomites on Plantis Christianity, you got the Edomites open Satanists. They're going to bang. So it says, he is also known for aggressively messaging and phrases, including burn down the system, which has been featured on the website along with one that says, homophobe hairbreast with an image of a guillotine and look that's spiritual right there because if you don't take the MOTB if you don't bow down to alphabet agenda that's the plan that Esau wants to do for you he wants to put your head in the guillotine and off with your head because they want to make alphabet agenda like the the normal out here like they want to make it to where that's mainstream and that's the, the dominant lifestyle in this society because the elite's that's what they are, their alphabet agenda. 
So they're tired of being in the closet about their lifestyle. They want to push it to the public and make it normal. That way they can come out and be who they really are. You know, Esau is, is a natural alphabet agenda character. So he's pushing that on the public. It says, Carnell explained in the Instagram post that Satan represents passion, pride, and liberty and loves all alphabet agenda people. See that? Passion, pride, and liberty. Everything that, you know, especially pride. Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah doesn't like pride. That shows you that Esau is the anti Hamashiach or Antichrist because he pushes things that our power doesn't like. He pushes liberty, do as thy will, spirit, pride. Something my power don't like. And he tells you to be passionate about being wicked. Because Esau is naturally wicked. That's his natural state. They were made and created to be the wicked. You see that all throughout the Bible. You know, that's why they're Satanists. They champion Satan. Because they're ad adversary to Yahweh and they're Shah. And therefore, they're adverse to us as a people as well. So your wicked two-thirds Jake don't know no better. They get with alphabet agenda, the community, and, you know, destroy themselves because that's what's going to happen to you. So it says, Target is experiencing a similar ongoing trend <clears throat> at Iser Bush with the, the beer, you know, following the Bud Light backlash as the brand sent transgender activist Dylan Muvainly a personalized pack of beer with the influence likeness as part of an ad for the company's March Madness contest to celebrate the year year anniversary since my lady began identifying as a woman. So that was straight retarded right there what Esau did. But like I said, we know that's the plan. They want to bankrupt all companies, food companies, all companies so they can usher in a new movement to where everything is controlled by the government. Because why would you use a, 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 a trans person to promote beer when most people drink your beer are straight men who watch sports and you did it on March Madness? So you was, you was asking to lose money. That was dumb. Very dumb. But that's what Esau wanted. It says since March 30th through May 25th, the Bud Light parent has lost $18 billion. That sucker done. In the market value with shares down more than 14% as tracked by Dow Jones Market Data Group. As nationwide boycotts of the beer began and sales tanked, the SP500 has risen 2.5% over the same time period. So when you've seen that, Target seen that, everybody's seen that, but I notice these companies don't care. So they're going to promote alphabet agenda and they're just going to lose money. They're just going to hemorrhage money, which that's the plan as well too. Like I said earlier, they need these facilities to turn into camps where they can process people. So this is part of the plan. This is the agenda. Push this in your face. Bankrupt all the companies. That way, when all the companies go belly up, I control the food and, and the water supply based on the military and, and the government. You know, there'll be more, more, you know, private or commercial institutions that sell products. The, the government will issue everything out and you know like i know y'all Sharala, you're gonna need the motb to access food and water or shelter from babylon the great that's how they want to do it so this is not something they're doing on accident it's something they're doing on purpose so they can get rid of these companies so they can get ready to move to the next phase and we're seeing that you know we're not ignorant to satan devices like I'm like, I know what you're doing, Esau. This, this is on purpose. So let's get to the scriptures. It's enough for that article. I want to get to the scripture. I want to go to Proverbs 12 and 20. And it reads, The seed is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. You hear that? The seed, they're like, this, this is a whole, this is a lie. Esau, what he promoting is a lie. Um, his, his true goals he's trying to put to the public is a lie but we know the truth though I know why you're pushing alphabet agenda you need those facilities so you can open up his camps but they're pushing like oh, we're all inclusive we want to include everybody we want to promote 
promote happiness and prosperity for everybody so they're making it seem like they're doing this for the, the good of mankind which really no you're not because that lifestyle produces death it doesn't produce life if all of us adopt that lifestyle we would cease as a human race like all of the people would die that's how you know it's wrong you know when you're doing it the way you have a shot instructed us to do it it promotes life it promotes a family unit see the devil also wants to destroy the family unit as well he wants to destroy everything Yahweh created and set up. You know, he, he's, the, he's the son of perdition, destruction. And he knows a strong family unit, uh, a Jake in his right mind, an Israelite in his right mind, is a big time threat to his system he's trying to usher in. So the ones that devise these lies, which are Esau, Edom, aka the white man, you know, they imagine evil. And what's the evil they're imagining? They're imagining putting a, a device in your body. They're imagining you not producing no children because you mess with the same sex. And they want all our children to be like that. That's imagining wickedness, man. They want us to commit more sin. Um, part of the only food they're going to try to feed us is going to be like pork and catfish. You know, things that separate us from our power and make us unhealthy. You know, that's what they're going to promote. Oh, lab-grown meat, GMO foods. That's what this devil imagines to promote. Bugs. They want us eating bugs. That's that devil imagined evil. And see, he going to lie through his legislation and through his media, the public. He's going to lie to make it seem like he's doing this for the better of mankind. What they call it, uh, the, the green stuff, uh, substantability. You know, they promote all we promote life. We got to get rid of global warming. We're overpopulated. You know, those are lies right there. When I really think about it, that's being promoted at a high level to the public, to where they got a lot of people believing that. Or oh, I got to do my part. Uh, I got to get rid of my gas stove because it's causing green gases. I got to go electric. You know, they want everybody on electric grid. That way, when they do an EMP strike or shut down the electrical grid, you have no way uh, of living. That way, you got to run to them and they system. And we all know what that's going to lead to. You got to get an MOTB to be in the system. So this devil, he's cornering the people. By what? Through his lies. And see, when you got this truth, when you've been in the house of David, and you know the truth, the lies don't work on you no more. So now you're a big-time threat to Esau Edom. He, he has to figure out a way to get rid of that control group, which goes into the hopeful elect, which really, that's when he's going to get his L, because the Lord loves the hopeful elect. And he's not going to let this devil harm the hopeful elect. So I'm looking at Esau like, yeah, you can make your move if you want to, but that's going to be to your demise, you know? So that's why I'll be looking at Esau like, I dare you. I dare you to go out to the hopeful elect. I want you to go out to the hopeful elect because I already know what the Lord going to do. So us in this truth, the house of David, like really you should be at ease, man. If you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, your relationship is right with the Lord, man, you should be looking at this devil like, I dare you to come touch me, man. I dare you to come mess with me. Because the Lord about to flex on this devil. So I don't, I be looking at Esau's moves and I'm just like, dude, you, you put yourself in the trick bag. You know, you, you really finished, really. When you think about Esau, really, he's already been defeated. Yahweh already whooped him. So now he's going to get that, like, that guaranteed whooping. Like, he about to get knocked off his throne is what he's about to do next. Why? Because he's doing all this lying. And plus, the Lord just don't like them. The Lord doesn't like Esau. And look, to prove my point, we're just going to bump up. Proverbs 12 and 13. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips, but the just shall come out of trouble. You hear that? So Esau, the more he does his wicked agenda, the more he does his lies, all he's doing is casting a net for his own self. That's what Esau, like you in a trick bag, man. You trying to go against the power who created the sun, moon, and stars, created everything. You trying to go against your creator, it's never going to go good for you. And that's what Esau's doing. And he's losing. So since Esau's losing, and he know he's going to lose, he's trying to convince Yasharallah, you know, Israel, to, you know, do it with him. Like, he know he going down, so he's going to pull you down with him. And if any Jake is dumb enough to, to fall for Esau's tricks, that's going to be to their destruction. Because Esau's done, man. I'm looking at Esau like, only way out of this the situation you're in is to do right, and they can't do right. But that's the only way out. Steady line and pushing the agendas on further put him 
more and more to his destruction. And that precept backs up with everything I just said right there. That's the Lord. He's telling you. I can see it. And then the scriptures also state that. You know? But what, and I like what it says. It said the, but the just shall come out of the trouble. Who's the just? The just represent the hopeful elect. The Israelites have come back into their heritage of Yahweh Bashi Shah. Said we're going to come up out of trouble. So that should boost your faith right there. Because that's, that's how I believe. Like, I'm not worried about what Esau doing. I'm about to come right on up out of it. So I'm looking at Esau like, you know, get your camps together. Get your military together. Get your MOTB together. Nothing you got, devil, is going to work. Why is it not going to work? Because I've been armored up with the truth. I know who you are. I know your moves. I got your whole playbook. The Lord Yahweh has given us the playbook of this devil. So I know what this devil going to do before he even do it. And when you got that type of foresight, <laughs> anticipation, it like, man, it puts you on a whole different playing field. You know, he saw his moves have no weight. Because you already know what he about to do before he do it. You like, you, we know the agenda. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We know your whole agenda. All we doing is waiting for you to, to bust your move that we know you're going to make. See, the ones that's going to fall for it are the two-thirds because they don't know who Esau is. They don't know who Yahabashavash is. They don't even know what's going on. They're just going with the flow like a dead fish. They're just going wherever the current takes them. We are alive. So we can swim against the current. We can get out the current. And we can sit there and watch all the dead go right to the slaughter. They, they going right to Esau's slaughterhouse. And like we got to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Shah for giving us that grace and mercy to get this truth, which is going to establish us and put us in the, the group of being a hopeful elect. Because everybody, man, the majority of Israel is going to be destroyed. Why? Because they following Esau. You know, you got a lot of Jakes that's in that alphabet agenda. You know, they, they in that lifestyle and you're going to be destroyed in that. The Lord does not approve of that at all see esau says it's okay it's good he promotes it it's wonderful uh do it and I, I see a lot of destroyed jakes every day in that lifestyle they're not gonna have no children they're not about the man the family union ain't ain't man they just twisted it's easy to trick an individual like that they have no standards they don't know who they are they're confused babylon goes into confusion Alphabet agenda is all about confusion. It just mix y'all up. That way you easy for the taking. So let's go. Let's end off with this right here. Because I just want to put some light to show you what Esau is doing, man. He's, he's cashing out. He's, he's, he's bankrupting all his companies so that he can get these facilities opened up so he can get ready for the next phase, which is going to be with the MOTB rollout. Like, we're on the verge of them not raising the depth center. They got the June 1st to raise their depth center. If they don't, all their plans are going to go in there, you know, into account. The CBDC is going to roll out. MOTB is going to roll out. Elon Musk has got FDA approval. So we'll see where they at based on, you know, what move they make. They say, we watching prophecy. And we waiting on it. You know, either way they go, we know what's going down. If they, if they raise it, Esau ain't set up yet. You know, he still got to get some stuff on the books. If they go ahead and let the, the debt default, then he's he's getting ready to run his game plan right now. So we'll know just what's going on. And I, I love that fact that we know what's going on and we know what's happening. So as I see it through the spirit of Yahweh, I give it to the sheep. And that's being a good watchman so that you all know what this devil is doing and where we at in prophecy. Like we, we had a big step in prophecy. Like they can like if they default on this loan, we would like the MOTB to start rolling out this summer. You know, they'll get that preparation going this summer if they decide, you know, to roll out like that. And see this, go go to my feature precept, one of the ones I love. And it's 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Let Satan should get advantage of us if we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of, of nothing Satan is doing. We already know what people roll with the spirit of Satan. And that's Esau Edom. So now we know to look out for now we know why they do what they do. And then like reading the scripture, we know they moves. Like I just pulled out one of their moves now. They're purposely tanking their businesses so they can get the targets closed up. Walmart's closed up. Um, whatever the little big companies got, you know, 
a big facility gonna get them closed up that way it can come up as a camp and then when they get ready you know to make their move you know jacob's trouble they can start you know pushing people in those camps and start processing them that's the move because you just seen why would you keep promoting something that don't work you see it don't nobody want alphabet agenda you see it's making you lose money so why would you keep doing it because they want it to bankrupt they want these things these companies to go belly up they want everything to be military and government control no more businesses you know they ain't about to get rid of the commercial businesses i see they want everything military and government that way they can dictate to the people like this is what you get you know I, i'm the source of all food ain't no targets no walmarts ain't nowhere you go get no food you gotta come right to the military and then if you're gonna get the food for me i need to put a device in your body that's why i love this precept said we're not in the same devices the motb that's a device that is a straight up device and he's going to use that to make it to where you can't repent anymore you take the motb there's no more repentance for you you have pledged your allegiance to esau and what like you say in that one voice god him god him like they had that ugly dude and he was doing that little thing getting people like god him you get the motb esau got you and he ain't gonna worry about you no more you are no longer connected to Yahweh Shah. So that's his big that's his big play right there. Cause that's his play in trying to offset Yahweh Shah coming back for that fruit that he won't. If, if all Israelites got the MOTB in them, who Yahweh Shah gonna come back to save? You know, but see what they don't realize is that the old fleck ain't gonna get your MOTB, man. We're not gonna get that. The Yahweh Shah about to come get that fruit that he won't. Them, them Israelites that Yahweh Shah want, he going to get those. Ain't nothing this devil can do about it. That the devil need to realize, but he not. Because he dumb. That's why I call them E-dumb. <laughs> They're dumb. They're, they're the children of fools. They're the base man. And they think that they can defeat Yahweh Shah. And I look at that like, you can't be no bigger fool than that. To think you can beat your creator? How dumb can you be? That's why I don't see, you cannot tell me Edomite is smart. Because that's not smart. That's stupid. All the way around. You're supposed to get in good with your creator. You know? Which, that's what, you know, Yashrala, Israel, that's what we are doing. We see what our creator want. We read the lost commandments. Like, okay, Lord, you want me to do this? I'm going to do it. You know? Not about to go against my power. That's stupid. That's just dumb. You know? That's why we are the wise and Esau is the stupid. He's so dumb. He sold the birthright. His forefather did. Our forefather got the birthright. Why? Because he was smart. They are stupid. Point blank period. You know, and I look at it. That's why I look at Esau like, boy, I'm so ready for your ass to go. Because I can't stand Edomites, man. And we up here living up under these fools. That's why we doing so bad as a nation. We are ran by idiots. We are in the subjection of idiots, y'all Sharala. Esau is an idiot. And then he getting like dumber and dumber every day. He can't do nothing right. Nothing can the devil do right. <laughs> you know? So, hey, Lord willing, y'all shall come quickly and get these devils out the way so we can, you know, worship our Lord the way we want to. You know, keep our large commandments perfect. Do our feast days, our, our holy days. We can uh, get in league with the moon. In the moon cycle with our Sabbaths, we get, get in harmony with that. And then we will be good, man. We're going to have real food again. Like, we don't put chemicals and try to destroy something the Lord already made great. You cannot make something, you know, you can't try to upgrade something that's already made perfect. The Lord already made the food we need perfect in the, in the way the world runs perfect. The devil messing it up that he can do better and he done perverted everything. He made it worse. We don't want chemicals in our food. We don't want chemicals in our water or in the air. That's stupid. Then what while the sickness is running around and running about? I said Esau is death, man. Esau is synonymous with death. He has to go. And Lord willing, they default on these loans and we get the show on the road. Because I'm ready to go. So that being said, I want to say Kwam Yashirala, detail by Bob. Shalom.